Okay, in this video we're looking at the decomposition of bromine monochloride, uh, basically just going into bromine and chlorine. And what we're going to do is we want to find the equilibrium concentrations um, of all of these things um, if we know what the initial concentration here of our product is. So anyways, in order to first of all to do that, we need to write the equilibrium expression, which we can write like this, is K, or equilibrium constant, uh, is going to be equal to the concentrations of the products over the concentrations of the reactants. So we can write it like this. It will be K is equal to concentration of bromine, Br2, times concentration of chlorine, Cl2, over the concentration of bromine mono monochloride, uh, let's stick with Br, Cl. Okay, perfect. And because this is a 2 in front of it in the stoichiometric coefficient, we are going to have to raise this to the power of 2. Okay, cool. So what we want to do is now, um, let's just change colors here. We're going to draw our ice table, what we call. So we have the initial concentration, is our I. Um, we're going to have our change in concentration, and we're going to have our equilibrium concentration. This is just a really easy way to kind of organize it, and uh, you'll see why right away. So let's say we started with, I don't know, 1.0 moles per liter um, of BRCL. So that means if we started with this uh, just in a chamber or whatever, uh, we're not going to have anything, we're not going to have any bromine, and we're not going to start with any chlorine, right? It's going to start decomposing, and eventually it's going to stop when it reaches equilibrium. So now what we can do is we can look at the change. Well, the change in concentration has to do with the stoichiometric coefficients here. So we know that we're going to have to increase these at the same amount, which is going to be half of this amount. So if we increase this, say, by plus some amount x, that means we're going to have to increase this one also by some amount x because they both have a one-to-one -one ratio. Now these have a one-to-two ratio with this so because this is a product we're actually going to be losing some of this so we'll have minus two x just like that. Alright we don't know what x is yet but hopefully we'll find out. So now the equilibrium is just the initial plus the change so we have basically 1.0 minus 2x uh, now this is all in molar and here we have 0 plus x, so we'll just have x molar and x molar. Okay, so now what we can do is we have all of our equilibrium concentrations, even though they're still unknown, but we can plug them into this expression here. So let's do that. Let's say we have, um, well now what we can do, we can write it down here. We'll say k. Well, we know what k is, first of all. k is 581 and now what we can do is we can fill in all of these so we'll have x times x or we can just write x squared right that's this x times this x and this is going to be over 1 minus 2x and this is all squared now what we can do is we can acknowledge here that this is a perfect square so what we can do with this whole equation is we can take the square root of both sides um, and here let's, uh, let's just draw this in like this so we can just basically do this, uh, and that's totally okay. So what we're going to get is the square root of 5.81 is 2.41. Okay, and then what we can do here is because of the perfect square, we can just remove these squares here, and we get x over 1 minus 2x. All right, so now all we have to do is just rearrange, and we want to solve for x. So basically we can go, well... Now this is just easy rearranging, so 2.41 times 1 minus 2x is equal to x, and basically what we're going to get here is 2.41 minus 4.82x is equal to x, and keep going, running out of space, uh, we get basically 2.41 is equal to 5.82x, um, let's just continue up here so we don't run out of space. Basically now we just get 2.41 simply over 5.82 is equal to x. And when we just punch this in our calculator, we'll find that x is equal to 0 0.41. And we didn't really carry units through, but this is in fact molar, as x is in units of moles per liter. Okay, cool. So now what is this? Now we have just this x value. So anywhere you see an x in this ice table here, that value is 0 0.41 moles per liter. So now if we want our equilibrium concentrations, um, say 
we had uh, BRCL, we also have BR2 and CL2. Okay, so we know that, well, these ones are a little bit easier. We can see that the equilibrium concentration of, for example, bromine is just x molar, and we know that this is x molar, so it's 0 0.41 moles per liter, and 0 0.41 moles per liter. So all uh, we have to do now is we can just plug in this x here. Uh, we get 1 minus 2 times 0 0.41 and that comes out to be uh, 0 0.18 moles per liter. And there you go. These are the equilibrium concentrations um, of all of our products and reactants once we let this go to equilibrium.